Yeah, my final thoughts. Um, I, I have a bit of a pessimistic view of dating in general. Mm-hmm. Like, and even you being like a ma- match or what, like a dating yeah, coach. Ac- coach. Like those apps, I just saw a video recently. Those apps aren't meant to even help people get on dates. Like they're meant to keep you on there because if, if two people meet and have a successful relationship, mm-hmm. the app Lose loses business. business. So they're incentivized to keep your lonely ass on there, <laughs> swiping for more people. And they strategically will put ugly ones in there and then put a cute one in there, knowing that, oh. Intermittent uh, reinforcement. Mm, there you go. You, I mean, you get it. You know how the apps work. Hinge, Hinge is a bit better about it, but mm. you need to be very intentional to like actually take advantage of their whole design to be deleted thing. And I, I just think about how, yeah, back in the olden days, like just dating was simpler. When your parents yeah. met, it was simpler. There was no, mm, like all the girls here have gotten a hundred times more like attention than I get. And I have millions of followers. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how does a normal guy even compete in this dating market? You can't. Like if a regular girl's getting 50 to 100 DMs, approaches, whatever, how, how do you even stand a chance? So I feel really bad for the majority of men who don't have a lot of success in a dating pool. And I don't know what the solution is. I feel like you just have to level up the best you can, appearance-wise, financial-wise, everything, because the competition is like, it's crazy. I mean, can I yeah, go. comment on mm-hmm. that? I agree and disagree because none of the messages that I ever receive, I ever respond to. Mm. I would only, as a for myself I would only pursue a man who is pursuing me in person and Mm. making an effort like appearance wise shows me that he has ambition etc and but there's a lack of that can men, we get a posture check from you? And just I feel like you're slouching, oh, and I'm yes, just I'm looking out. My, my, I'm, my thing keeps. I'm, I'm looking out for you. It's all I good. Like your booster. My booster seat keeps slipping. Okay, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> no, I see what you're saying. Like you specifically won't answer DMs. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if most girls behave like that. I think girls will. Most girls will answer certain DMs from certain guys. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, how do you compete? Where I know like y'all are getting blue checks and athletes and like some really top tier guys. How does a regular dude even get close to that? Like you can't. They so, don't. You don't. And they then don't. and then they end up, hey, can I pay it two grand to kick me in the nuts? Like, mm-hmm. like so I have seen statistics, like I've done thorough just like checks to make sure it's from actual studies and then asking men I know asking my like ex when we were still together men are not having sex these days Mm -hmm. whereas every girl i know if she isn't celibate she has had sex whenever she wants to and it is a serious topic that i considered sending beforehand but then i was like "Eh." yeah so you're right so it's it's kind of a weird dire situation send the asteroid (laughs) yeah yeah it's uh i don't know i I don't know what the solution is and and we're in this era of like hating on men and i'm like damn i think men need the most help now more than ever but they also need each other support (laughs) keep going ryan i don't have too much more to go on that but yeah you there's this gender war going on it's like whoa like there's so many men i mean you hear the stories of kick kick me and spit on me and I'll, I'll pay you a hundred bucks just to speak to me like how incredibly sad is that i don't know if y'all could even fathom having to pay it's someone a like hundred dollars just to speak to you and here we are misogynist toxic this and that yeah and like that's that's why i i like to try to i don't know root for guys like Absolutely. nobody's here to help men at all mm-hmm. and it's cool to i'm literally helping men well, i appreciate and that i agree <laughs> and I, they're there's a lot of very nice, good guys who just get overwhelmed from what I've observed from the whole alpha male podcast thing. Um, and that's why I think it's important for, you know, panels like this, people showing that it's okay to have your view. Um, if you're only getting one match a week, that's okay. Because like I mentioned earlier, it just takes one person if you want to be in a relationship unless you're into poly. Mm. And I know you have to go, but I did have one question for you. Sorry to like yeah. string this oh, on I a little longer, Brian. Um, have you ever told your male clients to be an asshole to, to girls? I Never to be a dick. What typically happens, though, is they are scared of being seen as predatory or mm. douchey, so they end up never even asking a girl out. So what I have done for most of them, actually, is say, like, you don't need to ask her five questions in a row to try to seem like you're interested. 
it's okay to like like she's dating you too mm -hmm. so you do need to talk about yourself mm. but i've never attract yeah i attract very nice clients who feel awkward never tell them to be douchey the most i've done is say try to be a little bit more cool and maybe don't text her back one minute later at 7 a.m mm. Yeah, I was like just, don't be desperate, no, but, I get what but you're don't saying, be a douche. Yeah, I look. I, I was, it happens a I lot like where this. women aren't attracted to nice yeah. men. They would rather mm -hmm. be treated like crap. To, to desperate men, I would. Yes. Yeah. You and were a lot of times, nice guys. Mm -hmm. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um. You like you like dicks? Is that what you said? <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> I heard. I like dick. Like no, like um, kind of like when guys kind of don't give you as much attention, and like stuff like that it kind of makes me want to like chase them yeah you know what I mean? that's it's about I mean. the chase yeah. and if i'm not chasing no, but, and, but, you, like, but that's like maturity versus immaturity like you mm -hmm. probably aren't going to find a husband if you're dating like that but at i'm 18, not dating you don't, like that and at like, 18 you don't need a husband like if um probably if don't guys don't do that I, that's not like a break point for me i'm just saying like if he's us, simping after you probably won't take him seriously no right? i i would i would for sure I've done that with a lot of guys, but um, I mean, isn't that pretty common? Like girls like yeah. guys who are assholes. I think oh, it's yes. kind of. I feel it's like a lot of people do that. Like it's the chase, you know what I mean? I like yeah. when my man is like obsessed with me. I like when my man is respectful and not an asshole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I just know, growing up, I was the I was a nice guy and never got anything. And then even me and my guy friends would be like, I said this to this girl and she loved it, and I, and <laughs> I'm like, why do they like? being mistreated or whatever. And I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be a villain, but I, I, I got turned into a villain. So <laughs> sorry. I think that oh, depends you, on the women that you yeah, want to be Yeah, or select with. women differently. It's a trauma cycle. So you're saying the women that I'm speaking to specifically are the ones that are into that and there's girls that are... You attract yes. what you put out or you attract the inverse of it. So like my most long-term client, he used to just go on dates with the strangest woman. Like one of them, she was like, yeah, I like to imitate dead animals. Yeah, that's crazy. Whoa. Yeah, Wait, but that's... Minute. the I, The woman said that, that? Yes, it was... He used to attract very strange... He also lives in, like, a rural area. Um, but that's when he was being a nice guy. But in reality, he wasn't being nice. He was letting himself be stepped on. Mm. By letting her decapitate yeah, it's, it's like, animals? I'm no, like, he would just date strange women. So I think uh, if you're dating... That's some psycho. Desperate or traumatized or hurt woman. Like Dahmer shit. Then you just aren't selecting who you're dating. Like, I'm not a place to be dating someone for the rest of my life. I don't want a husband. I'm not ready for that. Therefore, the dudes who are t carrying themselves in such a way that they want that type of commitment should not be trying to talk to me. Because when I say, oh, yeah, I'm flying out tomorrow. So let's reschedule our date. Like, I'm not. Basically, reevaluate who you're attracting, and if you feel like you have to be a douche to get them to like you, maybe don't go for them. Yeah, well, I would Did say that makes sense. I, I completely understand your viewpoint. I didn't attract any like being nice attracted nobody. Being not nice attracts people. Mm -hmm. Like fair enough observation. Crazy. So it's like, but I'm well, just do, speaking do from my perspective. Do you want a busy love a life or a very like, I think it's very fair to want to just go on a bunch of dates, get a bunch of action. Mm -hmm. And if being not douchey, but a little bit less attentive, mm -hmm. I think that's super valid. And like, I have not for very long, but I've worked with some men who want just casual dating. And then it's a few little tweaks and then boom, they get it. Mm. And that's valid. But if you want wifey, would wifey Delicious. accept that? behavior i see what you're saying yeah, yeah. and it's i'm all at a, about your intentions yeah i'm at a point where I, I don't have to act anyway i've just the way i am i'm able to yeah. weed through yeah i, I definitely don't have to put weed on like your a, thousands of dms <laughs> i have to weed through them all <laughs> nah it's uh i've gotten to a better spot but i remember being like a sis what's a senior in high school and it was like i was yeah i was also gonna say i feel like the younger crowd of women are more into that yes. like a little yes. like As evidence, a little mature, mature older women, women that like, like nicer they want guys. men that take care yeah, of them and exactly wanna... but in their youth mm -hmm. who were they going after i one of the our previous male panelists on the show brandon from way back and I don't know if any of you girls have, have heard this saying, maybe you've heard it. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but have any of you heard the saying, if you treat her like dirt, she'll stick to you like mud? Oh no. Interesting. I've heard that. It's, it is wow. catchy. It is catchy. I don't know if there's any <laughs> truth to it, but uh, I wonder if part of it is like uh, maybe 
Obviously, women are attracted to confident men. Self well, I think like maybe when some women are younger, they're going to confuse like that arrogance or asshole behavior as for confidence. Yeah. And maybe they, yes. they, maybe they are confident too. Um, so it's almost like they'd rather date a guy who's an asshole but confident than date a guy who's nice but weak. Mm -hmm. Or a guy who's nice, but yeah. insecure because it's not attractive. And also, I think, like for example, there is—I'm not an expert in psychology, but like there is a phenomenon where women will like get in touch. And there's a few ex potential explanations for this. Women will contact men who are in prison, seeking oh, like romantic relationships mm -hmm. with these men who are like murderers, killers, mm -hmm. even like the fucking uh, yeah. serial killers will get like attention from women they'll be like con sending him letters they'll want to meet him maybe even get married what did you send a letter to a prisoner the way you're looking at me right now <laughs> oh just the way you're looking i was like what you said i, I also feel pals? like um girls are into like i've heard like some of my friends say this they they like like toxic relationships like they like the oh, fight the drama yeah. i think that's they, like, part of it too toxicity. yeah i do think that uh I the worst thing you can do is bore a woman. I think yeah, I've heard yes, that. Yes. you can do anything except bore. Yeah, I think yeah. you can yeah. do anything except bore a woman. So it's it's. Uh, I think there's that component. I think another component is, like a guy who's a criminal, who's like a, right? He's capable of violence, and I think, it does like there's an evolutionary component of like a guy who's capable of violence. Uh, you can you can sort of see that okay he would be capable of he would be prepared to defend you mm -hmm. and it's like sort of this i don't know so it's interesting that makes sense but it's hot if a guy gets weird. into like a fight over you yeah yeah there you go yeah. Yeah. there's the pathology and then if you just take it like really far then you get to the britney spears in love with a criminal yeah. i yep. also feel like it's the yeah. aftermath of like in the fight after you know when you have like there's like after fight huh? sex. You're talking about oh, the after no. sex? Wait, yeah, what? have you guys oh. heard of that? <laughs> Wait, what? Just you. Oh, <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about. You fight and then after you, you have fight like with the best sex. Oh, yeah. makeup. Yeah. Oh, makeup sex. Makeup oh, makeup, like an oh. argument? Yeah, so like oh. for a lot of people, I've like heard this, like for a lot of people, they're, they're, they would like fight with their significant other and then the they have like sex. really good sex after. Is this from first hand? <laughs> yes. Yes experience oh so you would start shit with your no, boyfriend no, no, i wouldn't start shit on oh, purpose okay. but just, yeah you would never start but also argument. like and then after the fight he'd like comfort you and stuff like that i think that's another reason i mean i don't like toxic relationships but i think that could be reasons why people do okay yeah. fair enough i'd, fair I'd enough. rather a man fight another man over me than fight well yeah me. Duh. well duh. <laughs> but then there's another thing that i've spoken about with one of my other friends as well I'm a very calm, gentle guy, and the girls would be choke me, slap me, like in bed. Oh, yeah. And it's like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to hurt yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Harder, this and that. And it's like, because there is something primal and instinctual about them wanting to be overpowered and dominated and violence. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, I do not want to be violent. Yeah. I've only seen all. that in women who have like, childhood trauma though yes. Real, i feel like a lot like, of girls i'm, like, I'm thinking me. about i can yes. only speak from like <laughs> no, i don't know what <laughs> happens in the past like five years or some shit every every chick's like like asking wants to be you know I, what I mean I, it's that's statistically I they've they've figured out that it's because more women are watching more porn mm. and Ooh, porn in like it. not only fans i mean like the porn actual porn, porn industry that's mm. They are so violent and I, it's desensitizing i hate men to you hate getting choked what about the let's ex like maybe I, if some of the girl do you prefer gentle or rough sex gentle it just depends on my mood i don't mind either one okay depends on the on the man depends on okay i feel like it definitely depends on the mood yeah come on guys just say you like to be chill <laughs> you, you don't have to you guys can be honest just say you like to Get your hair pulled and get spanked and all this shit. But um, there's obviously a time and place for different types of <laughs> uh, intercourse. <laughs> but yeah, the, it is a, quite the conundrum where it's like th that fear and the danger and violence is like uh, it's uh, addicting. Stress yeah, it's addicting, and so that's why women go mm. bounce from toxic relationship to toxic relationship because once you're in one, 
you live off of chaos and you live off of toxic energy and stress and stress is cortisol yeah. in your b- body mm. and so when you're addicted to that dopamine rush once it goes away you have to have it back because mm. you withdraw from it so women are constantly seeking that dopamine mm-hmm. rush because that's the only thing they know that they're getting dopamine from is yeah. abuse mm-hmm. there definitely is like a rough sex meta mm-hmm. it seems like I th- yeah. you know what I, I think it might be maybe the girls can weigh in on this I think they got corrupted by one dude. Mm. There's like some it just dude. Takes one oh guy. yeah. One sure. guy who like is kind of into BDSM and he wants to tie you up and choke you and <laughs> fucking spank you and <laughs> put marks on you. Not, maybe not like hit you, but like what you know, whatever it is. And uh consensually. Yeah. And um and I think a lot of women might I mean fifty shades of gray is like yeah. was yeah, it's in that movies. That could also be yeah, another thing. And stuff you know, too. It's, it's sex has gotten a lot more aggressive, I feel like, in movies. Word. Mm-hmm. And I, I wonder if it's like kind of a... Uh, do- I, I don't know what the right term is. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. I don't know if it's a domino effect or if it's a, a snowball. I but it's like, like maybe girls are like heard something or they're, they're like... Yeah. They heard from something from their girlfriends or they heard, maybe had an experience with a guy. And then they think, okay, all guys like that. Okay, I'm going to ask him to Almost choke like me. Almost like a trend. Yeah, like yeah. snowball effect. So then guys are seeing all the girls who are wanting to be, tra- and then so the guys start like going mm. for it. Mm-hmm. And then the girls must think, oh, this is what all guys want. And so they ask for it. So it's like, I think that's exactly what it is. It's like yeah, a positive, sure. negative, positive reinforcement. Wait, what's, <laughs> what's the term? There's a term for this. It's negative reinforcement. Uh, it, yeah. Re- and posi- now positive feedback loop. I think positive that feedback sounds about loop right. Positive after. feedback yeah. loop. Reinforcement yeah. is rewarding the behavior and positive is giving something rather than taking away. So, yeah, good times. We uh, made it to a new day together. <laughs> oh my God, Mr. Pay to Win, you are on fire. Thank you so much, man, for the uh, gift of 20 subs on Twitch. Much appreciated. Actually, why don't we do this right now? Pull up Twitch really quick. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Drop us, oh, Nick, can you X out of those at the bottom? Don't pull them, do not pull them. No, 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 pull, come back, come back. Actually, fuck it, I'll do it later. Um, I don't know why people are sending me DMs. Just X out, yeah, don't open them though. I don't know why they're, I'll read those later, guys. Uh, yo, guys, drop us a follow on Twitch. Drop us a prime sub if you have one available on Twitch, twitch.tv slash whatever. Uh, yo, J. Dot, thank you for the prime. And pay, Mr. Pay to Win, thank you so much for the, uh, 20 community subs man appreciate it okay um you went maddie i don't know if you have uh, no, you got not nothing really. okay cool um i think i'm good on that uh i had actually we had one thing we have to do with riley oh yeah uh, I remember. what you remember oh, what no, no, no. oh wait what no. what, what? I thought wait, yeah, you were what talking, you about talking about where we all had to riz you up because remember you said uh, that oh I don't so think we're long. doing that anymore. <laughs> that takes so long now. <laughs> we're going to wrap very soon, trust me. <laughs>